Hello class, this is Professor Tweed here. And I'm going to look at another trick that's a, in, in some ways a finishing touch uh, to drawing and sometimes is, um, can be quite popular way, way of working, um, at least these days. It's very stylistic and that's lens flare. Um, to do a lens flare, oftentimes what you have to do is, uh, lens flare is a, is a filter under filters up here, but it only affects layer by layer. The problem is you want the lens flare to affect the whole image. So what you have to do is actually flatten your image first and save it. I'm going to show you the steps because you don't want to flatten it. And once you flatten it, you lose your layers and you lose all your control and I hate that. But there's a, I'll show you a few steps to flatten it, go back and undo and then sort of resave and run this thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to layer we're going to say flatten image. It's going to say, is it okay to flatten the layers? You're going to say, okay. And you see, we lost everything. We lost the 3D capability. We, just, we sort of lost everything out of it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do Control A or Select All, and I'm just going to copy my image. So I put it into the computer's memory. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my history, and I'm going to come up to the one above where I flatten the image. So now I've got all my layers back, but I still have in my clipboard the image of the whole thing collapsed. So I'm going to go up to my top layer and I'm going to go to edit paste or control V and it pastes in that image. We can see it doesn't do anything. It's just it's just the entirety of that image pasted in there and now I can run some effects on it to sort of uh, do certain things like a lens flare like in this case. So I'm going to go to filter and I'm going to go to um, render and I'm going to go to lens flare and we can see what it puts up this little dialog box that's you know like the sun sort of in your eyes. In this case if you have a sun in your image um, or if you want to make a sun in your image you can almost do it and it has a sort of like camera like effect. Um, in this case it's clear that the sun is sort of behind us so it really might be say reflecting off of uh, the you know the uh, the window or something like that. And then you can change the brightness through here right you can get as creative as you want. Uh, I'm gonna pull mine I, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Sometimes you just say you have to say okay and and try it a couple times before you get it right. Um, I'll say okay and see what happens. And so we can see it's sort of got that glowing, like the the sun is reflecting. And in my case, since my lens flare is right in the center, I don't see a lot of it sort of happening. But but there it is. And, uh, and and you can do it. And sometimes some people use lens flares to really dramatic effect to make their drawing look unique. Again, that's why I say, and I'm going to keep saying it in every video, I think here, go back to your precedence. If you like something happening and you like the way it's done, then use it that way. Um, and I've showed this video is really just to show you sort of how to use it um, in this case. So there you go.